Matrix has been a popular choice for extending game controls to your tablet or smartphone for quite a while, but a deep integration with DCS World was a bit complicated. DCS BIOS Matrix Middleware, DBMM for short, solved this issue by making it much easier to integrate Matrix with DCS. DBMM uses DCS BIOS to establish two-way communication between Matrix and DCS World. DBMM forwards the state of chosen aircraft systems as variables to Matrix and also allows Matrix to send DCS BIOS input commands to DCS. Things we will need for the integration, apart from DCS World of course, are DCS BIOS. It is a open source and free a de facto standard interface for DCS World integration. Matrix, of course. It is a tablet slash smartphone UI for remotely controlling applications on PC. While it is not made exclusively for DCS, it fits this use case very well. And finally, DCS BIOS Matrix Middleware, DBMM, is free and open source application, which serves as a sort of a bridge between Matrix and DCS World. All the links are in the video description below. First, uh, you will need to install DCS BIOS. I will not go into installation of DCS BIOS, it is really simple and instructions on DCS BIOS are very clear and widely available. DBMM itself doesn't require installation. Just download it from uh, DBMM GitHub, link is of course in the description below, and unzip it wherever you like. There are two archives in each release. A framework dependent, which requires you to have .NET 8 runtime installed, and self-contained, which doesn't have any prerequisites, but presents a larger download. So double-click on the exe file to start DBMM. If this is the first time you run it, it will start with default settings, which match DCS BIOS defaults. The most important setting is to choose the DCS BIOS instance path. DBMM will try to find your DCS BIOS installation. It is typically in saved games folder. But if it doesn't, you should click browse and select DCS BIOS doc JSON folder. All other settings except variables are best left on defaults. If you change them, I assume you know enough about DCS BIOS and know what you're doing. For more info on various settings, you can click help and manual in DBMM. Next thing to do is select which data you want to pull from DCS into Matrix. If you do not do this, DBMM will send everything to Matrix, which may negatively impact the performance. To select data you need, click the Configure Export Variables button, select a module and variables you want to be available in Matrix. You can also export and import your variables configuration using File menu in DBMM. Per module reference of DCS BIOS controls and variables can be found in DCS BIOS docs folder. To start DBMM export, press the start button. DBMM will start sending data to Matrix and you should see DCS related variables on Matrix variables screen, provided of course that DCS world is running. Okay, let's start with something simple. We'll do the master warning light in JF17. First we need to see which DCS BIOS variables we need. In our case, this is warn underscore L underscore master, which uh, is basically the state of master warning light in the cockpit. Zero if light is off, one if light is on. We have a deck and we will add a button from our aviation button templates, which looks very similar to the master warning light. And then we'll go to the button's advanced properties over here. And we will bind the button state 
to this uh, worn L master variable. Now, you remember that we looked at the control reference and this is basically a one or a zero while in uh, we are here binding the button pressed state which is either true or false. So we will need to use a value calculation. Uh, here is a quick, quick uh, pop-up hint what we need to do. Uh, for variables, I suggest you take a look at the ma matrix uh, variables video where this is all explained in much more detail. I want when the DCS warning light is on, that means this variable is one, to return true and if the value is zero to return false. I will write a simple uh, JavaScript statement. And we can test it. And now it's false. Okay. So our button should react to, um, to the state of master warning light. Let's see in DCS, it's off. I will just change the flight control system configuration to trigger it. And if we look at the variables, you see that the warning light is going from zero to one and zero to one. And the same will happen on our tablet. We will add a function to our button so that it acts like a real master warning button. We will add an action to button press. We'll choose set variable. And we will choose this special variable called DCS input command to input a command to DCS BIOS. Now the value that we will put, we'll have to look at the reference. And for master warning button, there is a variable called master underscore warn underscore btn, which we also set to we, we can set it to zero or to one, so button is pressed or not pressed. So in matrix, we will set this input command variable to master warn button one. So when we press the button in uh, matrix, uh, we will send the command master warning button one. Save it. And let's try it on the tablet. Well, it seems we have a fully functional master warning light button. That sure took a lot more time than I expected. I guess I'll have to do a series of videos uh, to cover the other controls like sliders, rotaries, encoders and multi-position buttons. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, I have sparked a bit of interest in DBMM and Matrix and see you in the next video.